Olivia. I'm Melly, and I'm at the Glendale Cruise Night, and I'm looking for some horsepower. But not this kind of horsepower. We're talking with Paul, and he owns a 56 Chevy. Bel Air hardtop. It took me about four or five years to build this car. So how many hours a week would you say you put in on a car like this? Oh, maybe a couple of, at night after work, and then, uh, you know, maybe five or six hours on the weekend. How did your wife feel about that? Oh, it was, it was a hobby. It kept me out of the bar. <laughs> a little bit about the, uh, the paint. It's a 89 Cadillac uh, Pearl White. Yes. And a uh, 2002 Corvette um, Magnetic Red. The paint jobs are averaging from eight to twelve thousand dollars. Just for the paint. Just for the paint. Yeah. And you just don't have enough money to do these type of things until you, your kids leave, and then you have more money. Exactly. <laughs> We're talking with Junior. He's the owner of a '54 Chevy Bel Air. And how long have you owned this car for? Uh, going on 15 years. 15 years? Yes. And was it in this condition when you bought it? No. You built it from the ground up? Yes, it was a rust bucket. Okay. This is the condition that I bought the car from, it, that I first bought it. Who did you buy it from? The, actually, the original owner. The lady couldn't, uh, she couldn't drive it anymore. I restored it for her, and she started crying when I brought it back to her. How many cars do you own? Uh, six. <laughs> Six. And which ones do you actually drive all the, like drive for a daily? This one. This is what you, you drive this around I drive town? This every day. We're talking with Steve and this is the owner and Steve is the owner of a 1968 MGB GT. GT. That's what it says. It was <laughs> into deep sea fishing. The guy that owned the tackle shop uh, told him that I used to race MGs. He uh -huh. goes, if I got a deal for you. $20,000 later, there it is. Now, did you rebuild this car then? Yeah, pretty much from the ground up. I bought it from the original owner. Two girls owned it. Uh, right. And matter of fact, I see them every now and then, and they cry when they see their Because they didn't know how beautiful it was going to uh, turn out. The president wanted to send us $600, <laughs> and we had to get the economy going. You spent your uh, 600 refund. There's my President Bush radiator right there. <laughs> We're pointing that out again. President Bush yeah. radiator Thank right you, there. Thank you, Mr. Bush. Hey, we're talking with Michael. He's the owner of this 1964 Chevy Impala. And I want to know a little bit, where'd you buy this car from, actually? I bought it out of an impound. An strip. impound? Yeah, it was just a shell when I got it. Just the body. That was it. Takes a lot of vision. No motor, no trans, no windows, no nothing. No chrome at all. How much time did it take you building this, then? I, I do it fast. I did this one, like, in six months. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I believe in getting it and making it happen and get it done. You so know? how many cars have you restored in your lifetime? Wow, I, over over 20 cars. Over yeah. 20, and when did you start that then? Ever since I was 15 years old. It's been with uh, Ellen DeGeneres, okay. Flavor Play, uh, it's been with 50 Cent, uh, Lloyd Banks. What's the best part about restoring cars for you? What is like the thing that makes you I happy? like taking something that's beat up and beautifying it, bringing it back to life. So that's my thing. I like to bring things back to life. with Kaylin, and he's the owner of this 1972 Corvette Stingray. It was an original one owner car when I got it, and he drove it from 1972 until five years ago when he died. So the paint hadn't been touched, nothing had been touched in the car, it had been driven every single day. And in the glove compartment was the original bill of sale. It feels so amazing to get into a car and know this is how it was when it came off the lot in 1972. I've had it at 109 and it'll do 140, but I haven't pushed it past 109 because it's got all original 1972 suspension and steering. This is heart and soul and in Yeah, I, I think that's the thing about all the guys out here in all the cars is that there's a lot of our, our heart and a lot of our soul in the cars. Thanks so much for coming to the Glendale Cruise Night 2008 with me. My name is Melly Vitlisil, and I'll see you next year.